Here they are, sir. Okay, thank you. New York pays tribute to the American foot soldier as the 82nd Airborne Division, led by its youthful commander, Major General Gavin, marches up Fifth Avenue. Gliders fly overhead as the city roars its welcome home to the 13,000 veterans who fought from Sicily and Italy through Normandy, Holland, and Germany. Four million New Yorkers line the four and a half mile parade route to greet the men. Oh, Hannah, I didn't know there'd be a newsreel. Oh, it's it's not your fault, silly me. I, I just, uh... Here. <sighs> I just miss him. Of course you do. <sighs> Seeing all those soldiers coming home, I just... It breaks me up. Of course it does. He's your husband. Was. <sighs> oh, Hannah, honey. He's still your husband. Nothing changes that. Well, you know what I mean. He's still in your heart and you're always going to be Miss... I'm just making it worse now, aren't I? <laughs> Go on and blow. I've got another one in here. Oh. Look at me blubbering. Oh. And when all our boys are over there doing something heroic for the world. Go on and have a good cry. Not everyone's born to change the world. Yeah, well, nothing ever got solved by blubbering on the sidewalk either. <laughs> I just wanted to make a happy home for my husband. And now I, I don't have any purpose at all. Well, you can walk me to the square. That's not exactly a purpose. <laughs> you never know. Even the smallest stone makes a ripple in the water. What stone? It's a saying. Come on, they're decorating the gazebo. Good evening, Mr. McGregor. How's that shoulder holding up these days? Ah, uh, you know, the old rheumatism acts up when there's a storm coming. And I can tell there's a doozy coming in tomorrow. Well, that's what everyone's been saying. It's a shame, too. Cloud cover is going to hide the comet. Oh, darn. I was looking forward to seeing it. I, I didn't think of that. But a big snowstorm, it's a good night to nestle in, I guess. And how are you holding up? Oh, don't you go worrying about me. Someone's got to, Nurse Hannah. You're always taking care of the rest of us. You'll uh, come to the caroling? Oh, well, I suppose so. Yeah, I always like seeing the whole town come out for it. Let's just hope the snow holds off. <laughs> <laughs> You were the one who introduced us. Without you, we never would have... Oh, Julia, when? Come, Frank's just bursting to tell you himself. <laughs> and I told myself, why wait? As soon as I can carry over the threshold, we're going to find the closest justice of the peace. Right, honey? Engaged on the night of the Christmas Comet. How romantic. Well, look this way, you two lovebirds. And, and I'm going to find her a white dress. Just like when I saw in a window when I was over there in Italy. Prettiest dress I ever saw. Oh, and Frank has been telling me all about Italy. The good parts, anyway. <laughs> he says there's hundred-year-old churches in the cobblestone streets. Pretty as a picture, some of those towns, but uh, nothing beats being back home. Why should we be getting back to work? Congratulations, you two. I'm so happy for you. Hannah? I, I wasn't even thinking. We were so giddy and I didn't oh, even... Oh, no, no. Don't apologize, Julia. We have to keep our eyes focused on tomorrow, right? That's where happiness is, not the past. 
You are such a brave thing. Oh, I'm not so brave. I'm just happy you're so happy. Really. And we are happy. Thanks to you. Coming through. Oh, hey, uh, we're decorating the tree. You gonna come by? Oh, oh, maybe later after my rounds. Oh, say, uh, while you're down there, do you mind replacing the key to the storage locker? I forgot to hang it back up. It's been right here in my jacket pocket. You're a peach. I gotta run there with the decorations. Oh, careful. Uh, see you later. I'll say yes. We're all gonna have a little celebration before heading over to the gazebo. Okay. On the left side of her, she presently spied a little wooden hut painted blue, and something rose-colored was tied to the handle of its shut blue door. A bunch of roses, said the fairy godmother, and she thought of going over and smelling their sweetness, but when she came close to it, you don't want me to read to you anymore? Are you sad, Toby? I don't want to go back to the orphanage. Hmm. I bet you don't know what's coming tonight. You too. Oh yeah, what? The comet. You are so right. Is the comet a miracle? Hmm, well that's a good question. What's the difference between a miracle and something that just happens? Like, um, rain. Is rain a miracle? Maybe everything is a miracle. Rain, comets, you, me. Just depends on how you look at it. People are calling this the Christmas Comet, but that's not the real name. Oh yeah? It's the Divico Comet. That's the person who discovered it. I read it in a book, and you know what? What? It won't come again until 71 years. And you know what else? What? I know a secret. Will you tell me? I think comets are miracles. <laughs> you know. We're all waiting for you. Do you mind if I borrow her for a while, Toby? Okay. <laughs> Don't forget about the comet tonight. Nasena, you forgot your camera. Do you hear that? Was I right? Dr. Axelrod has such a beautiful voice. He's like an opera singer. Just listen. <laughs> That's Mary Grace. She can never remember the lyrics. She's a riot. Come on. I just want to make a phone call first. Now? It's for Toby. I want to make sure someone from the orphanage takes him home for Christmas. Aww. Oh, poor little boy. I'll be there in a minute. Promise. Don't forget, we're all going to the gazebo. That's my favorite. Hurry. I'm sorry, the line's out of order. Thanks. Glory to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him rule. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. <laughs> Oh, poor thing. Well, let's see. 
Stefan. Is that your name? Oh, are you lost? You're a ways from home, aren't you? And her tone of voice, let me tell you, is know-it-all. Oh, it's just a phase. Tina did the same thing. Excuse me, hello. I'd like to make a call. Well, just last week she had to go sick. Excuse me, can I make a call, please? Uh, is this an emergency? Um, well, no, but... Well, if it's not an emergency, you're going to have to wait your turn. We'll be off in a gym. Right. I know. I tried. I tried. Look at that snow coming down. Your owner must be worried sick. Okay. Come on. You want to go home? Let's go home. for that dog. Honestly, I never knew how much until just now. <laughs> right, boy? Gosh, I just, I don't know what we would have done if you hadn't brought him home. You're our hero. Oh, heroes change the world. I just did a simple thing. Oh, you saved our Christmas. I can tell you that. Can you imagine how heartbroken we would all be? Christmas without Ruffin? Oh, that's little Clara. I didn't even have the heart to tell her that Ruffin was missing. I'll go. Stay the night, won't you? Oh, no. Well, the I... snow is really coming down. Oh, thank you, but I don't live far, just over on Elm Street. But I, I should be going. Are you sure that there's no way that we can thank you? You already have. Merry Christmas. And to you. Drive safe. Will do. Come here, Ruffin. Come here. Come here. Come here.
Yes, are you okay? Uh, I, I don't, the cars, they're, I. Cars? I don't, this isn't right. Is she okay? I don't know. Miss, are you lost? No, I, I don't, I don't, uh, what is happening? I just, I, I have to get home. Hello? Yeah, there's a woman here who seems lost. Center in Maine. I don't know what's happening. Thank you. Oh, definitely football. Over baseball. Mm -hmm. You do not. What, you think you know everything about me? Yeah, I kind of do. I've known you my whole life. Okay, you do not know everything about me. Oh, <laughs> man of mystery. Nah. Not. So you think. And anything I want to know, Louise tells me. Ah, oh, please, shoot me now. Why? Hmm? Why am I partners with my little sister's best friend? Because you trust me. Okay, ma'am, hands on your side of the vehicle, and please. And I make you look good. <laughs> Can you please be a little less bratty when you're in uniform? Mm. Dispatch to 403. <clears throat> yeah, 403. We have a report of a female on Main Street at Center Road who may need a well-being check. Can you investigate that? Copy that, en route. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Excuse me, miss. Were you, uh... uh... Is everything okay? Uh, uh... Can you help me? How long do you think you were unconscious? I don't know. I, I just, I heard a big, um, a big boom. It, it was thunder during the storm. Storm? And, that, and that's all I remember. Do you think I'm dreaming? Uh, you all seem so real, but uh, everything, it, it doesn't, it doesn't seem right. How long were you in the shed before you came out? Just the night. My car got stuck in the snow. Her vital signs are normal. I was reading Ladies Home Journal and and they had a story on dreams once about how they seem like they could be real, but... Shh. Just follow the light with your eyes. Have you located the vehicle? No, Chief. Can you tell me the make and model? Of what? Your car. What kind of car do you have? A Hudson. A what? My husband bought it right before the war. I'm not seeing any signs of a concussion. Her vision is fine. No headaches? Mm -mm. And has he been contacted? Your husband? No. He died in the war. I'm sorry to hear that. Iraq? What? Or maybe he was deployed in Afghanistan. France. He was in Malmedy. Mrs. Norris, could you tell us the date? Um, it's... It's December 16th. No, 17th. And where are we? What city? Uh, well, Central Falls, of course. <laughs> In the name of the president. Harry S. Truman. Amnesia? Ken, she knows her name, city, date. Yeah, but there was no storm last night. Maybe she's pulling a scam. Possible. The ride just doesn't check out. The car doesn't check out. Whatever Hudson is. And she's no ID. She says she left it back in the shed. That's a likely story. We're gonna have to take her in. On what charge? For now, we'll just get some more information from her. That or that or 1701. What, involuntary commitment? Hey, wait, wait, hold on, Chief, Chief. This all just seems a little bit harsh. It's just procedure, Jake, that's all. Let me take her back to the farm, okay? Just for a day or two. Just let her calm down, feel safe. I don't know, it's against protocol, and I'm not so sure that- We haven't processed her yet. Just let me observe her, okay? If she's delusional, I'll take her to the hospital. If I sense she's a fraud, I'll bring her back to the station. If she's a con artist, she's going to play you at every turn. Come on, it's almost Christmas. And I will take full responsibility. Okay? Oh, I know this place. Yes, 
so my parents live here in the big house. I live in one of the outbuildings. And my sister moved back with her daughter temporarily. We buy our milk here. The Morgans have the best cows, don't you think? Actually, um, this used to be the Smith farm. My grandparents bought it from them back in the 60s and they renovated it. What do you mean, back in the 60s? What do you mean, what do I mean? What year is it now? It's 2016. The way you're looking at me, you don't believe me, do you? I, um... Why don't we go inside? Come on. Well, the text was 20 minutes ago, so they should be here any minute. Is he really gonna let her stay here? She could be... <gasps> oh, they're here! So, everybody, say hello to Hannah. Welcome, dear. You did absolutely the right thing to call the police. Okay, how about here? More towards you. Okay. I'm just saying it's shifty. Here? A little right. You know, it's just shifty. I mean, some stranger in a costume shows up in the middle of Central Falls pretending she doesn't know where she is. She didn't seem shifty. She seemed nice. How about now? Back it up. You know, people who take advantage of others always seem nice. Do you know how many identity thefts there were last year? 15 million. Google it. Hello, now. <sighs> Actually, I think it's better by the window. Okay. You remember the fellow who sold me the timeshares in Florida. Oh, here we go with the timeshares. Mom, this lady wasn't selling timeshares. He was the nicest guy you'd ever meet. He was so handsome. Never in a million years would you believe that he was just up to no good. Never in a million years. Sweetheart, when did he become so suspicious? I'm not suspicious. It's women's intuition. And I just feel that something fishy is going on around here. Okay. I think you could be a little more charitable. Mom, I'm not being uncharitable. It's just, I don't know. It's a little weird, you have to admit. Where did she come from? We don't know, and now she's just here in our house. Mom, if she has amnesia, will she forget she menaced last night? Gwenny, not so much sugar on your oatmeal. You know, she seems fine to me. I mean, the clothes are a little weird, but... Dad, no one just lands in Central Falls without knowing how. She is perfectly nice. I'm sure there's a very good explanation for what happened. Besides, she didn't land here, Mom. She's from here. Okay, so has anyone ever seen her before? Or heard of her? Guys, guys, come on. What if she walks in here and she hears all of this? Just let her rest, get her bearings, and we'll all get to know her in no time. Shouldn't you have just a little bit more professional skepticism? There was nothing wrong with having a trusting spirit. Now, why don't I go in and check on her, see if she's awake, and uh, you all be nice. Remember, she's a guest in this house. Hey, Mom. <laughs> hey, um... Were there ever any Christmas lights on the old gazebo, on the square? Christmas lights on the gazebo? Um, no. What do you ask? Oh, uh, uh, nothing. <laughs> Just something Hannah said. Hmm. <sighs> Hannah? You awake? Hannah? Jake? Jake? She's gone! What, what are you... Oh, organic planet? Can I help you find something? What? Gluten-free toothpaste? Th this is my dining room. Where are all my things? Uh, what, what was that? My kitchen. This is my home. I live here. Right. I have uh, got to make a call. <sighs> Shh. 
she left. I tried to keep her here, but... Which way? Thank you. Well, is she, like, dangerous or anything? What? What happened to the hospital? There is no hospital. No, it's, it's a hospital. This is supposed to be the hospital. Hannah? Come on. I'm sorry I didn't tell you I was leaving. I, I couldn't sleep. All night I kept thinking if I could just get home. Somehow home would make everything normal again, but but now I I don't know what my home is. I don't even know what gluten-free is. <sighs> Most of us don't. And then I thought of Dottie. I could get to the hospital. What hospital? And today's her shift, and, and Dottie would explain everything to me, and, and somehow it would make sense, but but Dottie was gone. Well, everything's gone. I I don't know what's happening to me. I none of this is real. I, I don't know if I'm dreaming or if I'm losing my mind or what. It must be really hard for you. And I see the way people are looking at me like I'm crazy. Or worse, lying. You were right about our farm being the Morgan place. It was a dairy back in the 40s. Do you believe me then? Well, I believe, um, I believe that we're going to find out what happened. Scared. You're going to be okay. I'm here to make sure of that, okay? Chief's not happy. I know. You gotta bring her in, Jake. You're gonna get in trouble if she disappears for real. She's not going to. She was just trying to figure out what happened. Oh yeah? So what's her angle? There is no angle. I believe her. <laughs> oh. oh, so she just dropped out of the sky from 1945. Well, I mean, I believe she believes it. <sighs> you better find something or you're gonna start sounding as wacky as she does. Thank you for the vote of confidence. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Yeah. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Let's see how this works. Oh, yes, it fits perfectly, doesn't it, Louise? Yeah, huh? great. Okay, so try these. And I got the Uggs on eBay. Uggs Sunny Bay? Mom, she doesn't understand. They didn't have Uggs in 1945. Ladies always wore heels. It says so right here. Okay, great. Well, then you are going to love these. Mm -hmm. Bedroom slippers. Why don't you try these? You can go try them on in there. Wonderful. Wow. Look at her, Uncle Jake. And it's like a, you know, a tag sale, but for the whole world. Like, imagine you move and you don't want to take your stuff with you. You can sell it here. And you can find anything like charm bracelets or once I found a spoon from the year my mom was born. And it's inside this little thing? No, this is just a computer. A computer is like a, a car. It can take you anywhere, but you don't have to leave where you are. Think of it like, <sighs> never mind. Let's just look for something like, what year were you born? 
1912. Oh my goodness! My mother had a set of dishes just like that. Oh, wait, make it go down again. Look at that hat! I, I bought one just like that. They're selling it for that much? Apparently, she made a scene in the health food store. Huh. Well, if I'd eat quinoa, I'd make a scene too. Harv, I'm serious. She said it was her house, mm -hmm. as in she lived there. Sorry, she thinks she lives in the health food store? Mm -hmm. Well, then she escaped before the police got there. Oh, and I had George Google her. Mm -hmm. And you know what he found? What? Nothing. Oh, well. I mean, I've Googled myself before nothing turned up, and I'm not saying I'm from 19... 1945. Yeah. She's pretending that she doesn't know how she got here. I mean, what did she do? Time travel to now? That'd be cool. Oh, great. Hon, look, I, I'm not saying that none of this is out of the ordinary, but don't you think... I am not being paranoid. 1940 is my foot. I am getting to the bottom of this. I am. Yeah, I know you will. I will. You and I are going to do a little more research. Okay. DMV records don't go back that far. Hmm. No photo. Well, it's convenient. Well, they didn't have them then. In fact, until the 30s, they didn't even have driver's licenses. Aren't you becoming the historian? She could have gotten this printed at any copy place. Her get up, you can find those clothes at the thrift store. And why would she want to do that? I don't know. Identity theft? Oh, come on. Louise says she's making herself white at home. Maybe she's homeless. And she wants you to take her in. <laughs> Sarah. Well, you tell me. She didn't just drop in from 1945. Moon Paris. Paris Moon. Stop playing with the evidence. Just saying. It. Just like that. And this makes it stick? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? What if it falls? <laughs> it won't. How do you know? Oh, Toddy and I used to make one every Christmas. But when the war started, sugar was rationed. What is ration? Gwenny, I think it's time to get ready for bed. But, but nothing. Go on. Will Hannah read to me? I guess you're gonna have to ask Hannah. Of course, I would love to. Yes. <laughs> you sure? You don't have to. Oh no, I, I want to. I, I just, well, I've always wondered what Christmas would be like with a big family. Well, it's a little bit chaotic. No, it's, it's perfect. It's a miracle, the wise old woman told Lily. But Lily frowned because she didn't believe in miracles. Outside, the snow fell silently, and the only noise was the stomping of small hooves. The reindeer were impatient. It's probably time for bed. Hannah, do you believe in miracles? Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what I think anymore. I do. Mr. Cook says you should believe in everything with an open mind. 
Your Mr. Cook must be a very smart man. He runs the science fair. He also turned an old building into the library. He paid for it himself. He's exceedingly wealthy. <laughs> well, that old building was my hospital, and it was just built before the war. He also believes in time travel. He does? Mr. Cook says, just because you don't understand something, doesn't mean it doesn't happen. Gwenny, it's time for bed. and your scars. Tonight, it will be the first appearance of the DeVico Comet in 71 years. Just in time for Christmas. This has been Fred Damsky with Public Radio. We'll just get that one present for your father, and then we'll... George. <sighs> Hurry up, we're gonna be late. Hang on, I just got a text. It's like that thing's attached to your arm. Can't say I've ever seen her before. Well, she would have come in to buy a whole outfit of 1940s clothes. Oh, I would remember her. I've got loads of great stuff from the 40s. Nobody's interested now. It's all about the 80s. I told you, Louise, you're not being kind. I'm just being careful, Mother. You're being suspicious. We should be supportive. It's Christmas after all. Mom, look. <laughs> Beautiful. Har. You are not going to believe what I am seeing. Now, you thought I was paranoid, but I think I know what's going on. This is one of my favorite things about the period. Mom, you have to come and see this. It's a gazebo. It is just like Hannah said it was. Look at how beautiful it is. Look at all the lights. <laughs> what happened? People used to pass these traditions on to their children. I don't know. Kids these days just don't seem interested the way they used to. Yes, that's exactly how it is. I mean, was. Everybody comes out for it. Seems like all the neighbors. We carol, we drink hot chocolate, we laugh. Can I carol? Kids don't go caroling anymore? I guess we just don't. I don't know. We've just never done it. Can we, Mommy? Can we carol? Yes. In fact, I have an even better idea. And that got me to thinking. What if they're all in it together? A conspiracy. Well, you don't think it's a coincidence? I mean, some stranger just drops into town in a costume and instead of arresting her or taking her in for questioning or whatever, the entire policeman's family are in there buying the same kind of clothes. <laughs> really? Yeah. Why would they want to do that? My point exactly. Oh, the whole thing's just getting weirder and weirder. I don't think anyone was home. Just me. You okay? It's all a little strange. A lot strange. And sometimes I look around at all of this and at the tree and, and your great family and I feel happy. Oh, well, there's nothing wrong with that. But then I feel guilty for being happy. It's just, I mean, I, it... Oh, I'm not explaining this well. That's okay. I just... Well, I've never known a Christmas like this. It, it wasn't like this back when... Where... You know... Where I was. And, and the war, it changed everything. But even before that, I, I never had a big family. I had my husband, Chet. We were friends since childhood. We always knew we would be married. And, and finally, we were right before the war. And then he was gone. And now... Everything is gone. Not everything. 
You have all of us and this Christmas. Here, this is one of my favorites. What is it? What this? Um, it's a, uh, they used to be called albums. Can you dance? Brings back memories. It's so strange. I don't know if I'll ever be able to get used to any of this. I'll help you. You can trust me. Mom, it was innocent. I, I was just trying to make Hannah feel okay. Don't tell me. Tell Sarah. Tell Sarah what? Oh, Jakey, you can see how she looks at you. Sarah? Mm -hmm. Oh, Ma, don't be silly. What do you think? Oh, that is going to be perfect. Hmm. Okay, what are you girls up to? It was Louise's idea. It was Hannah's inspiration. We're all going to go out caroling tomorrow, like an old-fashioned Christmas. And this? You said you wanted to make her feel more comfortable, didn't you? And invite Sarah. Tell her that you're sorry. Sorry for what? You're such a dope. What? You saw her face. OK, what is this? Hmm? Is this some sort of like secret female language I'm missing? Ow. I love snow. Do you like snow? White Christmas and all that? That'd be nice. What about you? Hmm? You want snow? People are talking. What? You know what? Um, if I knew what, I wouldn't be asking what, so... What? Her? Ugh. Sighing isn't denying. What am I even denying? People are worried about who the stranger is. And we're supposed to be investigating, but in reality, one of us has the hots for her. Oh, I do not. <laughs> you think I'm just your little sister's goofy friend, but uh, I wasn't born yesterday. No, oh, Sarah, come on. I saw it with my own eyes. What am I supposed to tell people who are worried? Like what? Slow dancing is some new interrogation technique? I wasn't dancing. We were dancing. I, 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 we, I, it was just... I was just trying to make her feel comfortable, that's all. Obviously. I mean, you should get a promotion for making the suspect feel comfortable. Okay, stop doing that. What? This. The, the air quote. Is she guilty? No. A fraud? No. Unhinged? No. Then what? I don't know. Maybe you should dance with her some more. You were such a brat. You know that? So you're going to come tonight? What, caroling? Mm hmm Are we gathering more information on the suspect? Oh, come on. Just come. My mom wants you to be there. Do it for her. Give me the rest of your fries and I'll consider it. Oh, that's a tough one. Merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. Laughing all the way, bells on bobtails ring. Making spirits bright, what fun it is to ride and sing a sleigh song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride a one-horse open.
and sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells. Hey, what's going on? I was here. The night of the storm, I brought the dog back. His, his name was Ruffin. It's different. There, there wasn't a fence, but it is the same house. Wait, you, you brought a dog here? Uh, he was lost. He came to my house, and I had tried to call the owners, but there were people on the party line, and they wouldn't get off. Party line? So I brought him here. They were so kind. They, they invited me to stay because the storm was so bad. And if I had stayed, I, I wouldn't have driven my car into the snowbank and I'd still be back where I belong. Hey, we're gonna go to the town square. Come on. You made us all so happy tonight, dear. Me? I didn't do anything. You inspired us. All of us. It's such a shame that they don't light up the gazebo anymore. Oh, it was so beautiful. It would light up the whole square. <laughs> oh, that's our, our war memorial. It honors all of the town's men who were lost in the war. I know. What is it? It's Chet's name. He died in the war, but his name isn't here. Where have you been? Huh? I have been texting you all night. Where have you been? Oh, uh, I don't know. I didn't have my phone on. You live with that phone on. Where were you? Nowhere. Some. Everyone is somewhere. Huh? What is that? What is that around your neck? Hannah gave it to me. It's like, you know, from old times, 1940 or something. Hannah. Mom, it's no big deal. We were all singing songs and... Singing songs. Tarf, say something. It was fun. What's the big deal? What am I supposed to say? I, songs. That's okay. When did he start to sing? Hmm? Huh? Oh, no. Mm -mm. No. Uh, on. I am just going to ask a few questions. That is all. Better safe than sorry. Buddy. Singing? Come on. Nice try. All I'm saying okay, hold is on. that hold on, please. it's suspicious. The crazy claims, the weird clothing, the brainwashing. There's no brainwashing. Really? Okay, look, I can explain. And now you're... everyone is singing. You know, since she got here, this entire town has been out of whack. Mrs. Jones, and it's you'll... your job to get to the bottom of it. But for some reason, Mrs. you're staying Jones. at your house like she's some sort of guest. I am worried. <whistles> Mrs. Jones, I can assure you the Central Falls Police Department has this situation completely under control. We take your concerns seriously. Don't we? Absolutely. And we are looking at every angle on this. But now it's late. When the department is ready to issue a statement, you'll be the first to know. Why don't you go on home now, Mrs. Jones? We're taking care of it.
We've got to do something, Jake. It's our duty to the people of this town. It's our job. Every day that goes by, there's something else that's fishy. Just tonight, her husband supposedly died in the war. What's so fishy about that? But his name's not listed on the memorial. That's fishy. So you're saying she's lying about the house and the dog? The kennel was named after the dog she found. I mean, how could she have pulled that off? She could have read the sign and then made up some story about some dog named Ruffin. Con artists think on their feet. The clothes she could have found at some thrift store and the license she could have had printed. How can you keep wondering? Paris Moon. It was invented in 1928. By the 40s, it was one of the most popular perfumes in the country. Okay, great. So? Okay, so they stopped making it in the 60s. There is no trace of it. I mean, there's no place you could have gotten this. She could have found an old bottle on eBay. I had the lab test it. It hasn't oxidized yet. This is the real deal, Sarah. Hmm. Hey, by the way, impressive whistle. Who taught you how to do that? You did. Third grade. <laughs> I don't know how I got here, and, and I don't know how I'll ever get home. This whole thing is as surreal to me as it must be for all of you, and, and yet you've all been so kind to me. So, so kind. Just last week, when I was back, back in, in real time, I, I told Dottie right there in front of the movie house, I told her, nothing ever gets solved by blubbering. It just doesn't do anyone any good at all. And since I don't know whether I'll ever be able to get home again, I'm going to make the best of things here. I'm gonna find happiness, I'm gonna find some way to be useful, and just stop wishing things would be different. I may have found a solution for the town's Christmas lights. It's not going to change the world, but it's something. Okay, so what's our next move? Why don't you call the Jones woman, invite her to come meet Hannah, let her see what Hannah surprises. Maybe she'll stop being a pain? Whoa, you might want to present it with a little more tact. Okay, I'll be right there. Harv, I'm going to the library. One of the nurses' stations, it was right there. I think it, it all looks so different. And, well, the adult patient's ward was upstairs, and, and my favorite one, the pediatrics, it was over in that corner. There was a door here, it went to the back stairwell. Or maybe it was over here. There's a door here. That goes down to the storage room. Come on, it's this way. Are you sure? Can't believe we never knew about this. those well 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 I always wondered what was in that locker it's nice to see you again do I know you it's mr. cook he's a man I told you about 
He's the one who made this into the library. Oh, then you must think I'm trespassing, but I can explain. Um, I'd like to show you something. It'll only take a moment. Books, as you can see, are my passion. That's why I saved the old hospital. I'm going to tear that thing down. You believe that? Tear it down? Books saved me from a very lonely youth, being a child of war and all. Sometimes the smallest things change a life. For me, it was reading. Ah, <laughs> you incorrigible dogs that love me to death. Now, somehow, my assistant manages to never spill the drop out of that. Would you like some tea? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have to be truthful here. I have heard all the stories about you and time travel. Oh. Oh, so you just wanted to see the talk of the town. That's true, but... Actually, I wanted to see how you're doing. Do you mean that... Do you mean that you believe me? More than that. I have something that belongs to you from a long time ago. <sighs> That's my camera. How did you get it? Nurse Hannah. I'm Toby. Toby. Oh, I used to read to him when he was a little boy. Oh, your arm, it, it healed. Look at you. So young. Hey, stop it, Ralph. Rex, both of you, stop. My sister breeds them. It's become a family business. Actually, because of you. Me? Yes. You remember when you took that lost dog home and the owner was so grateful that she came to the hospital to thank you? Oh, oh but I, I was here. I, uh, I was gone. And someone told them if they really wanted to return the favor, they should come and read to me. Oh, well, that was Julia or Dottie. Yes, because I was your favorite boy in the hospital. You were. <laughs> <laughs> and then they mentioned that you were hoping I wouldn't have to spend Christmas alone. Oh, it was definitely Dottie. Yeah. So they took me home. Oh, wonderful. Oh, yes, I remember. They had a little child. Clara, my sister. Your sister? They adopted me. And Sue, my adopted mother, realized how important Ruffin was to the family, so she started a kennel. Oh, that, that's why I keep seeing so many golden retrievers here now. Yeah, the service dogs, they've been helping a lot of people over the years. So these two are dropouts. They're too silly to be service dogs, ah, so they're mine. <laughs> oh, darn, I'm out of film. Film? What? Well, almost no one shoots film anymore. It's all digital. It's what? That's all right. I know someone who can develop that for you. Oh. And, and Dottie? How did her life turn out? Dottie? She's still here. Would you like to see her? <laughs> yes. Yes, please. Dottie's here? Yeah. See her. I heard she was quite the character once. <laughs> That's Dottie. But since I've worked here, well, she doesn't talk a lot. I'm not sure how much she remembers. Hi, Dottie. Nurse Hannah is here to see you. Nurse Hannah?
Dottie, look at you. Can she hear? She doesn't respond to much anymore. Dottie, it's me, Hannah. Dottie? Yes, it's me. She, she's trying to say something. <laughs> what? Comment on, on what? Yeah. You should see this. When we moved her into this unit, that's the only personal thing she brought with her. Must be her prized possession. Well, it's addressed to Dottie. It's from me? Darling Dottie, I'm finally in my place in the big city. Address below, can't write more because it's blazing hot. Well, that doesn't make sense. I never lived in a big city. Keep reading. P.S. We made it in time for our third year of bliss. Yours, Hannah. Dated... August 16th, 1946. Well, that's our anniversary. Chad made it home. <gasps> oh, they said that he was lost in the war, but he, he made it home. That's why his name wasn't on the memorial. Chad didn't die. Hannah, this means that you get to go home, too. But, but how? She didn't say comment. She said, Comet. Oh, the DeVico Comet. That's the Comet everyone was talking about. And, and you said that people were calling it the Christmas Comet, but that wasn't its real name. Remember, it was just a week ago. A week ago for you, 70 years for me. Well, 71 to be exact. There we go. The Davico is a comet with an orbital period of 71 years. It was discovered by Francesco Davico in 1874 on December 22nd. Today. Today? Yeah. Well, what does that mean? Oh. Uh, uh, let me try to make some sense of this. The last day in the hospital, I overheard the nurses talking. Dottie was beside herself. They found your car in the snow. You were gone, vanished. Someone mentioned the coincidence of a comet the night before. I was a boy, alone, and a wild imagination. And I had a belief in the magic of miracles. Yeah. You wondered if the comet was a miracle. Well, think about it. A comet that only comes every seven decades at Christmas. On the night you disappear, and now you're here. But why? Why me? It's to show you. To show all of us. To show us what? This. The dogs. For this house, for you being here, for me, for Jake. Don't you see what you've done, Hannah? And you didn't even know you were doing it. The smallest stone makes a ripple in the water. That's what Dottie said. I was feeling so lost, like I had no purpose. But you do. The rain, the comet, Christmas. Do you believe in miracles? I think I do. And believe tonight the Christmas comet is going to take you back home. to retrace my steps exactly. I'll have to change my clothes back into what I was wearing. And oh, I'm afraid I'm going to forget something. I'm going to miss you all so much. I don't know what's going to happen. Will it work? Will I get back? I don't know, but I'm going to try. Because my life isn't this one. I don't belong here.
so the Christmas comet will get her home? There is something so magical about that. Seems a little woo to me, but hey, what do I know? Are we gonna see the comet tonight? Please, 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 please. Okay, that's enough. Please. Yes. <laughs> there. What if it doesn't work? You said that you believed in miracles. I do, but... And Mr. Cook said that you have to believe in something before it can become something. Of course you do. He's right. Otherwise... There is no otherwise. It's gonna work. Because it's a Christmas miracle! <laughs> you ready? Don't make me say goodbye. Wait, Hannah. Don't say anything. I wasn't crying when I left. I met my husband when I was six. He used to pull my pigtails. And I... I thought he was such a nuisance. Turns out I was the last to realize that he was the love of my life. Just like you and Sarah. Sarah? What was it? pigtail pulling or did you hide her books uh i just put snow down her jacket of course she did much worse to me she's still a brat though and you wouldn't know what to do without her you just haven't realized it yet but you will you two look at each other the same way chet and i did It's time. I know. Chet's a lucky man. Sarah's a lucky woman. Hannah, if this works and you get back, you think you'll remember all of this? Predict a miracle. It's not for a while, silly. We're gonna watch the gazebo lights go on. Savior is born. Christ the Savior is born. 
She's home! One more thing. Photos from Hannah's camera. That's me. Wait, that's the story we put on top of the gazebo. Mom, look, it's Grams and Pops. Oh, it is. Well, I'll be. I, I knew they met in a hospital. Mom was a nurse, and it was just after the war. Uh, in a introduced them. She thought that'd be a nice thing to do. It was. <laughs> <laughs> she hadn't done that one little thing then. None of us would be here. What, sweetheart? Great grandmother and your great grandfather. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Why not just call your husband to help you? Hi again. I hope you love Journey Back to Christmas. I'm so glad to have been a part of Hallmark Channel's Thanksgiving movie tradition. Thank you for joining us for our five-night Thanksgiving movie event. I'm Candace Cameron Bure, and from all of us at Hallmark Channel, a very Merry Christmas to you and your family. And keep watching. You can check out a complete lineup of all our Countdown to Christmas movies on HallmarkChannel.com.